Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Staley, your sales guy. Hey, today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right. All right, our subject for today is selling and selling while the iron is hot. What did he say? I said selling while the iron is hot. Now, that's an old saying, and basically what it means is, hey, look, if you're selling and you're doing real good, don't stop. <laughs> Keep going. It's just that simple. But in reality, we have to remember, you know, we have ebb and flow. Some days are going to be real good. Some days are going to be bad. Some days you're going to just uh, get confused and frustrated, and so you got to laugh at yourself. <laughs> I do all the time. I look in the mirror, I laugh all the time, just saying. And in reality, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and all the crazy stuff that goes along with selling and stuff that sometimes people don't talk about, but we hear about it. So let's go ahead and get started on this forum. You know, the key to success when you're trying to sell something is you're trying to figure out, well, what do I need to do? Well, first off, you've got to have a plan. You've got to work hard. You've got to have a strategy. You've got to go ahead and set your sales day in motion. And this is what will happen sometimes is, you know, I'll get a sell. And I'll be excited because once you get a sell, you feel real good. And see, you're so excited. So what you need to do is when you're excited and when things are going real, real good for you, you need to keep selling. I don't care. I mean it literally, guys. I have seen salespeople, they get a sell, and I've been there and I've done that too, and I didn't go any further. I dropped the ball, and, and my mojo was off. And what I mean by that is, is hey, it, I may have got more sales because what happened was is I was energetic, I was on my game, I was on my ball, I was excited. And when you're excited, it's easy to transfer your enthusiasm to customers about why they should invest from you. And it makes a lot of sense. And while the iron is hot, what it means again is, you know, if you're out there and you're selling something, you get a sell, okay? You know, you don't rest on your laurels, you don't lay back, you don't go celebrating and saying how great you are, unless it's a really big sell. Because see, most sales people like me, I go business to business, door to door, and I have a lot of people that I need to run into. And what I found in my own selling experiences, when I'm getting a sell, dang, it seems so much easier to get another one. It's just like, I don't know how it works, but I just think God's involved in all this because he gives us this inspiration, this excitement, this, hey, I can sell something. Oh, right. It feel real good. <laughs> and when you're selling something and you're inspired, you're more inclined to have that conversation and feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, you make people get excited because they want that what you got. Because if you run into a lot of people, they have a hundred drum life and when they meet a salesperson like you because you went out there and sold something and the iron is hot they might be ready to buy because see you're so excited and you're a happy person you're you just you know you believe in what you're saying you know and there'll be those days man where you don't sell nothing and you still believe in what you're saying but it doesn't come across to the customers that you talk to. And I'm going to tell you what, they read us. People are always watching us. They're always seeing the things that we do. They're always listening to us. And sometimes if we don't sound just right, we lose a good, easy sell. And I've been there. I've done that, and I've had some really bad ones happen to me. Now, when I sell stuff, it's like I know instinctively now, don't stop. Don't stop. Go to the next location. Go to the next customer's house. Go to the next person, the business. Go and just do whatever you got to do to get an additional sales. And you get what they would get on what they call on a roll. You ever been on a roll where you did something and it just got better and better and better or worse or worse or worse? That's right. The same thing in selling in life. You know, realistically, if you're a salesperson, you're going to run into these situations where you have those kind of days, and they're not always a lot. So you got to really grab the bull by the horn and realistically just say to yourself, hey, I know I just sold something. Who else can I help? Who else can I talk to? Where else can I go? And be so grateful that, you know, God gave you a sell, and he's given you some inspiration to go out there and sell some more. It's that simple. <laughs> you know, my name is Gary Lee Saley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you some stuff that a lot of times people don't even talk about in selling and if they do okay that's real good you know selling while the iron is hot i love that old saying it's just really cool and i remember hearing it when i was a young man 
and I didn't really grasp it. I didn't understand what that meant until as I got older and started studying the career of sales, started, you know, going out and having sales conversations instead of barking information at customers. You know, I got real good at having selling conversations. I got real good at having uh, inspiration in my heart, and I started listening to motivational materials, books, and I started reading, and I started studying the craft of selling, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm a salesperson, you're a salesperson, I'm going to tell you what, we can only get better if we live our craft, work our craft, study, and you know, me and you, this but we want to get better and better and better. And how do you do that? You have to do the basics. You have to do the fundamentals. And a lot of times selling is a numbers game. And what that means to you is, hey man, if the numbers are good, you better get out there and sell something. Because see, when the iron is hot, you're hot. You're doing good. You're excited. You want to be successful. You want to help those people get something. And you know what? If you see people that are excited and, and, and you want to be a part of that. I mean, I've been in the business sell since the 80s in one form or capacity and I'm gonna tell you what when it's it's amazing you got a four-day weekend coming up okay and normally you guys only sell a few cells but boy it's amazing when you can take some time off that iron is hot that I mean people are excited about sales because they know they're getting that reward of a four-day weekend or maybe you got that doggone trip coming up that you can win or that trophy that you can win or that big extra money that's going to be in your paycheck you got to get yourself psyched up you got to say to yourself I can do this I'm a great salesman I can do this and once you get your feet wet and you're out there selling I'm telling you what man when the iron is hot you got to jump on it baby don't quit when you're doing real good I remember many many years ago I got this opportunity to sell and I just started in sales and there was this big competition and yeah I won the whole thing it was a big deal but damn I kind of quit the, the day I had one more day to sell and a, a day and a half and you know what I did really really good and I did I got a bunch of money off of it got awards and trophies and all that good stuff but the iron was hot and I could have sold even more but I let my guard down and got kind of lazy and dang I sold a lot but you know what I look back now and I say to myself dang how much more could I have sold you know reality is selling is is important and we matter so if you're a salesperson and you're getting your sell hey man you need to get excited about it you know sometimes we got to tell people how great we are and everything oh yeah we're real good <laughs> but how much greater can we be if we keep going keep doing the next sell talking to the next person picking up that phone oh I got a sell on the phone let me pick up the dial don't be celebrating because see the day's not over with until the day is over with that's when you celebrate. That's when you get excited. That's when you say, well, I'm all that in a bag of chips. Okay, that's cool. But it is fleeting. Some days you're going to do real good. Some days, you're like I say, you're going to scratch, scratch, scratch. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But listen, we have to keep doing the next right thing thing we have to visualize in our uh, brains and say to ourselves I can do this I am awesome visualize yourself winning those awards visualize yourself being successful visualize yourself helping people become successful and the key to success in this regard is you'll do really really good I mean real real good and the, while the selling while the iron is hot that's our topic for today you know my name is Gary Lee Stanley your sales guy and when the iron is hot don't stop selling Okay, it's real simple. And when the iron is hot and when you're making money and it's rolling in, because there'll be some times when money will get kind of slow or seasons start getting slow and services, you know, you can't sell them. Some services you can only sell a real whole lot in the summertime. And then in the wintertime, it's like it kind of dries up. So you got to get out there and sell. What did I say when the iron is hot? I know it sounds like a crazy subject, but for new salespeople, when you first get into sell, we get excited about selling something. Don't quit. <laughs> Remember, go out there and sell while the iron is hot. You got to get out there. You got to drive. You got to say to yourself, I got to get out. I got to see somebody else. I got to talk to somebody else. Boom, boom, boom. And what will happen is you get so excited about being really, really good, and you've been closing, and you'll blow people away. They'll say, Dad, what'd you do? Uh, I got out there while the iron was hot. Okay, what? <laughs> That's funny, right? But see, reality, selling, it is enthusiasm. It is catching. What are you catching? Okay, a good attitude, a bad attitude. What are you selling? 
and people are watching us. So if we have a good attitude and we keep going, even if we got that one sale, don't rest because, see, there's another person right behind you. And if you're in a competition and you got a sale, you're all excited. Oh, great. Well, see, that person gets excited. They start seeing the iron is hot and they want to go out there and beat you. Don't let nobody beat you. And if they do, reward them. Give them an attaboy, a little fist bump, say congratulations. But remember, you ain't going to let that happen next time. So when I'm out there selling, what I like to do is once I get a sale, I get real excited and everything. And then what I do is keep going. <laughs> so do me a favor. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We just had a very simple conversation about, you know, selling and selling while the iron is hot. Now, do me a favor, go out there and sell something, but if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. Hmm, selling. V visualizing yourself being successful. Dang, our conversation today was talking about selling while the iron is hot. Dang, that's a pretty good idea. So go out there and sell something and have a nice day. All right. Oh, yeah.